Chelsea, what the heck do you think you're doing? Are you actually getting married to Seth? Are you seriously going to go through with this? What's the meaning of this? You've got some nerve trying to take my man away from me. You know that, right? Uh, who is this? What do you mean I'm trying to steal your man? I, I don't understand. Oh, it's you, Gemma. Wow, it's been a while since we last spoke. I really didn't think another colleague would be messaging me like this. I don't understand why you're talking to me like this all of a sudden when I haven't done anything wrong. Seth and I have been going out for almost four years already. What you're saying isn't making any sense at all, Gemma. How the hell is he your man when he's been with me for such a long time? I can say whatever I like to you about him. He was my boyfriend back when we were both in college. You're just another colleague of his that shouldn't even be that close to him. Why are you trying to take my boyfriend away from me? You're a complete backstabber. Are you insane or something? Okay, Gemma, I'm really sorry about this, but I've honestly got no idea what you're talking about right now. I do remember that you two used to date. But you dated in college, right? That was a long time ago, Gemma. Wouldn't it have been almost 10 years ago now? If you guys broke up that long ago, why are you mentioning it to me now? To be honest, you've known for a long time that we've been dating. Why are you trying to butt into our relationship now? I thought you were cool with it. Because Seth and I were destined to get married. He's not supposed to be marrying you. It would never work between the two of you. Us breaking up was a huge mistake, and I'm here to put it right. You're stealing my man, so give him back. Seth must feel the same way about me. Surely he does. Even he knows that we'll end up together in the end. It's our destiny to be together. I've really got no idea what you're saying, Gemma. You're a bit delusional, to be honest with you. First of all, I don't know how you found out about my marriage to Seth. It's really got nothing to do with you. I don't really know why you're saying such nonsense to me about how I'm stealing your man when you're not with him. Don't you get it? Everybody knows what you're doing. Everybody knows about your conniving plans, Chelsea. You can't deny it. What the heck are you on about, Gemma? What do people know? What plans are you even talking about? The plan that you wanted to steal my man from me. You're such a homewrecker, Chelsea. You'll pay for messing with me. You are the one who got in the way of me and Seth getting married and living our best lives together. It's all your fault. You'll live to regret this. Oh my god, Gemma, you're so delusional. Would you seriously cut it out? I've done absolutely nothing wrong. How many times do I have to repeat myself to you? Seth and I started dating almost four years ago. He's moved on from you. When he and I got together, you both had nothing to do with each other, right? You both cut off contact from each other. How is it possible that I took him away from you when you'd both broken up? He wasn't your boyfriend at the time. Shut up, Chelsea. You're so wrong. Stop trying to argue your way out of this. You know you've ruined our relationship. I'm not trying to argue with you, Gemma. I'm trying to make you see sense, but it's obviously not working. Well, it's all going to be okay anyways. I don't think you can get married to him. I'm looking forward to seeing it all explode in your face. The ceremony should be a fun time. <laughs> Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You know about the ceremony? I don't think you're even invited to it, so how do you know when it is or even where it's happening? You're looking forward to it? What do you mean by that? Where are you going with this conversation? If you're planning to sabotage our relationship, I wouldn't even try if I were you. You've absolutely lost the plot. Seth, are you there? We really need to talk. Something weird happened. I got a bunch of horrible messages from your ex, Gemma. I really don't think you would do this, but did you say something about our wedding ceremony to her? You didn't invite her, did you? Because there's no way I'd want her there. She's going crazy. Whoa, what? Where the heck did that come from? Why are you mentioning Gemma? She thinks that she's invited to our wedding? <laughs> I don't get it! There's no way that I was inviting her to our wedding. I don't want her even stepping a foot into our ceremony. Because she'll probably do something to ruin it. I just got some strange messages from her and it got me really anxious about everything. I was quite worried about it because she sounded really angry. I just wanted to message you to make sure she wasn't bothering you or anything like that. She's acting really weird. Well, actually, she got in touch with me a little while ago. She was acting weird then, too. She was so persistent about wanting to be with me again, and I ended up telling her that I was going to marry you. I just 
didn't want her contacting me again. Maybe it's my fault she came after you with those huge rants. I don't understand why she'd get in contact with you after all this time. She seems really crazy about you. <laughs> Have you ever kept in touch with her about our relationship? Has she bugged you before about wanting to be with you? No. And there's no way that I'd ever want to get back with Gemma. She's acting so odd these days. It looks like she's gotten herself into a bit of trouble. It's a hot topic amongst our colleagues at work when it comes to her. <laughs> oh, really? What's been going on with her? Why is she acting like this? Ugh, why is this happening so close to our wedding day? It's frustrating. It's only one hour until your ceremony begins, Chelsea, but I don't think your wedding's going to go as planned today. <laughs> What are you talking about, Gemma? Can't you just let us be? I want this to be a happy day and something that I remember fondly for the rest of my life. Oh, don't worry, you will. <laughs> it's my fault that I've taken your fiancé away from you. You may be surprised to get a call about something special being stolen from you, but it's okay because you deserve it. I'm getting back together with Seth, so it's okay if you leave and I'll attend the ceremony in your place. <laughs> What the heck's going on here, Gemma? You can't just do that. Do you really think this is a victory for you? What do you really want to say to me? Don't you get how much of a misunderstanding this all is? He was your boyfriend in college, but we're not in college anymore. Can't you just move on with your life and find someone else? There are plenty of eligible men out there. If anyone's having difficulty understanding this, it's you, Chelsea. The loser has no choice but to hang its tail between its legs and run away. There's nothing that can get in between Seth and I being together now. I'm planning on having you disappear without a trace. And Seth also agrees with me that you need to leave and never come back. Okay, Gemma, how about you don't jump to conclusions just yet and calm down a bit, okay? You need to take a good hard look at reality. Are you telling me that you've been talking to Seth? If you've been messaging each other, why don't you have a good look at what he said, okay? There's no need for me to do anything like that. I know what he said to me, and I know him way better than you do. Our hearts are truly connected, so I know what he wants in life. Are you kidding me? Your hearts are connected? Ha! <laughs> what a joke. I wouldn't take your delusions so seriously, Gemma. I can't listen to you talk anymore. It's making me go crazy. I suppose I have no choice but to move on from this. If you'll excuse me, I can't talk to you right now. This is all too much for me to handle. Wait, what did you just say? You know that if you come to the wedding venue, it'll be a waste of time for you since Seth and I will already be married. <laughs> I'm already on standby in the wedding hall. All that's left now is to wait for Seth to walk in. I do apologize for doing this an hour before your wedding, but Seth and I have decided to get back together. There's nothing you can do about it now. I'll take your position in the ceremony, then it'll really show people just how much of a loser you are. <laughs> you just let an ex take your fiancé away from you. I don't know how you could possibly do that when I've already said my vows and kissed Seth. Huh? What, what are you talking about? You haven't done anything like that! Stop lying to me! I don't mean to rain on your parade or anything, Gemma, but what are you doing? Our wedding has already begun, didn't you know that? We just kissed and said our vows to each other. Wait, what? What are you even saying? This, the, the wedding hasn't even started yet, so how could you have possibly done all of those things? I made sure what time the ceremony was at so I could be here on time. I'm at the wedding hall right now. You know that you're talking about where the reception's being held, right? I told Seth about the messages you sent to me and also how you got in touch with him. Of course, you wanted to get back together with him, but it looks like you've made a huge mistake. I just showed Seth your messages just now. My husband bursted out laughing when I told him about the situation. Wait a minute. Your husband? You're not talking about Seth, are you? Chelsea, what have you done? Of course he's my husband. Who else would he be? He was only ever getting married to me, Gemma. By the way, my classmates from college also busted out laughing when they heard what you were trying to do. If you're at the venue, you should maybe stop trying to embarrass yourself so much and just go home. Wouldn't you be better off doing that? What do you mean by that? I'm not embarrassing myself at all. Seth was supposed to get back together with me and get married. Why couldn't you have just left well enough alone and let me have him? Because that was never going to come true, Gemma. 
You message me out of the blue with this nonsense and think you can just take what isn't yours? There was no way I was going to add more fire to the flame with the replies you were sending. How did you come up with such a delusion in your head? But it wasn't a delusion! I swear it wasn't! I thought that Seth was just playing hard to get! I wanted him back! Why do you think he'd want to get back with a woman who he dated ten years ago who couldn't show her affection and was just mean to him? I guess it was just me misunderstanding how salty you were about me being with him. You don't have to go that far! All I wanted was to be back with my ex! Don't be so rude! If anyone is being rude, it's you by trying to take him away from me. You know, I've heard a lot of things about you, Gemma. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What are you talking about? You think you've got some dirt on me or something? Seems like your marriage isn't going so well, so you thought it would be a good idea to get in contact with your ex-boyfriend. That seems to be the rumor that's flying around these days. Do you really think it's okay to do something like this? What the heck are you talking about, Chelsea? Where did this rumor come from anyways? Did you not think that your ex-boyfriend would not catch on with what you're trying to do? I guess you were pretty desperate to even go as far as you did. Looks like you're going to be demoted or lose your job, right? What on earth are you talking about? Where did you get that information from? How do you even know about that? I'm just guessing what's going on right now, but back when you dated Seth, you cheated on him, didn't you? Everybody knows that you did, so we all thought you were delusional and trying to get back together with him. Why should that even matter? It was a long time ago, and to be honest, who cares about that? We're all living in the present, so why are you bringing it up? Oh, really now? <laughs> well, it seemed like you wanted to relive the past not so long ago. <laughs> you're the exact person I want to say this next thing to. If you're living in the present, why don't you stop trying to cling on to your ex? It's not a good look, Gemma. It just makes you look even more desperate than you already are. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? Clinging on to Seth, what part of me is desperately holding on to him? If anything, he was always clinging to me. Unlike you, Chelsea, I was very popular during my college days. That's why I thought it was weird that he broke up with me. All because I cheated on him a little bit. Well, I guess you've got one thing right. A lot of people admired you during college. Yes. I found out halfway through our time at college it was all because of your looks and nothing else. Excuse me? How dare you say something like that to me? I was popular for many reasons, not just my looks. Hmm, yeah, I don't think so. Just because you were attractive back then doesn't give you the excuse to cheat on your partner. You're just like every other person who cheats on their partner. Trash. How dare you? You've got some nerve calling me trash, don't you? All you were back then was a little nerd that nobody would touch. And so, what of it? That was me in the past, and I'm okay with that. Besides, Seth chose me in the end, didn't he? He saw something in me compared to you, who was just looks and was stupid and empty on the inside. <laughs> Shut up! You just love to bring others down with your words, don't you, Chelsea? What the heck would you ever know about me anyways? I've got no interest in knowing you, so why are you being like this towards me? I don't have to understand you, because frankly I don't want to. You're the one who started bothering me first. It just so happens that we were once strangers that went to the same college, but you know that word quickly spreads when you're in classes, right? I knew enough about you that it was in my best interest to stay away from you. I never wanted to get involved with someone who was trying to take my boyfriend back based on her crazy delusions. He doesn't want you. Don't you get that? They weren't delusions! I'm just trying to prove that I'm the more attractive one out of us. I just wanted to show him what he'd miss out on if he got married. Well, my husband, Seth, said that he wanted nothing to do with you ever again and to stay away from the both of us. It seems like he's already blocked your number, which is a good start. He should have done that in the first place. Wait a minute, what? He's gone and blocked my number? He's got no right to do that. There's no way he'd do that to me. I, I thought I meant more to him than that. Are you living in La La Land or something, Gemma? He told me himself that he did that. He also showed me his blocked number screen. We're married now, so we don't need any crap from people like you who are just trying to split us up. Your plan was never going to work, Gemma. Why are you giving me so much trouble? Are you seriously just trying to make fun of me now? Fine. Seth and I will just start over and get married today. 
There's no way I'm going to let you marry my Seth. I deserve his love, not you. You're just a little nerd who deserves to be alone. What the heck's your problem, Gemma? Are you insane? You're Seth? Would you quit with this game? He doesn't belong to you. He's his own person and can make his own decisions. Why are you doing this to my husband? Stop calling Seth your husband when he's not. Seth is mine, and we all know it. He belongs to me fair and square. Are you confused or something? Did you hit your head or something? Don't you see what you're doing is bad? This is a really bad situation that you're putting everybody in, Gemma. He and I were the ones that were supposed to get married at the wedding venue. You've ruined everything. You're going to pay for this. There's no way that you can get in the way of me and Seth getting married. I won't let you. I see what you're trying to do. You were going to ambush me at my wedding so that I couldn't marry him. Were you planning on harming me and taking my place at the altar? There's no need to cause you any harm when it's obvious that Seth chose me over you. You're just hiding him from me. No, instead of choosing you, he thought it was some kind of joke and just laughed really loudly. He's not taking you seriously, Gemma. What the heck are you talking about? He needs to take me seriously. We're going to get married and be together forever. Oh, I forgot to mention this to you, Gemma. We had our wedding already. It was held at a different church. We only invited family and close friends. After we finished here, we're going over to the other venue to have the reception. Seth's asked someone from the ceremony to contact security so they can clear the space, so to speak. You got married somewhere else? What do you need security for? What's going on here? Well, you're in the reception hall, right? You being there might put us in danger after the way you've been talking to us. I can't risk you being there trying to hurt me or take away Seth, so if we find you there, you'll be escorted out of the building. Excuse me? Danger? That's a bit of an exaggeration, don't you think, Chelsea? All I wanted was to have my Seth back. Don't you dare treat me like I'm a dangerous person. I'm not even going to do anything to you. And I can't take that risk after the way you've been talking to me about Seth. You're clearly a dangerous person, Gemma. You're completely unstable, and who knows what you're capable of. Thanks to you, we've had to delay the start of the reception. It's going to start 30 minutes later than it should be, and it's all your fault. You need to take responsibility of spoiling our special day. Hurry up and get over it, then! I need to talk to Seth. It's urgent. I only need to speak with him for a little bit. It's no use communicating through you by messaging back and forth. That's why I'm saying you're dangerous. I can't possibly let you do that because I don't know what you do to him. What? I don't understand. Why? All I want is to talk to him. That's it? Why won't you let me do that at least? Well, you've made a big mistake thinking you'd be able to get back together with Seth. He knows how delusional you are. He doesn't want to be anywhere near you and neither do I. All you wanted to do is hijack our wedding. It would be a stupid idea to let you near my husband. I guess he and I will do everything together from now on. I'm calling the police along with the security that's based in the venue. They're going to secure the area so that you can't get in and ruin anything. What the heck are you saying? There's absolutely no need for you to call the police. You're overreacting so much right now. I haven't done anything to you. I haven't hit you or hurt you in any way. Why are you being like this? Are you kidding me, Gemma? These messages you're sending me alone could be classed as a threat if I showed them. I'm not even threatening you, though. I'm just telling you to stop messing around with my Seth. He belongs to me. You saying that is super suspicious in itself. You're just a snake. I don't want you anywhere near us. I can't believe this woman. What do you mean by that? Are you calling me a snake? I haven't done anything to you. Is there anyone else I'm speaking to right now? Of course I'm calling you a snake, slithering in to try and steal Seth from me. And on top of that, trying to ruin my wedding day and threatening us as well. Just shut up and leave me alone. Stop interrupting people's weddings. Stop acting so desperate. We've had a happy wedding in front of family and friends. I want to continue the celebrations with my husband in peace. So let us do that. There's no space for you in this relationship, so don't even try bursting our bubble. You don't need to overreact like that, all right? I'm just trying to take back what's rightfully mine. I also loved Seth as well. He can't just forget me like this. I thought that Seth might still love me. I thought he was trying to drop me hints, even though he was with you. 
There is no way that he still loves you after the way you've treated me and the way you treated him back when you cheated on him. Your relationship ended 10 years ago. Can't you just move on? You're actually crazy, Gemma. I, I can't deal with any more of this. If you understand what's going on, please admit your mistake and do your best with your marriage. If you're not happy, talk to your husband. But before doing that, you might need to look for a new job. If you actually try, maybe your head won't be so empty, right? How dare you say something so cruel to me? Why don't you take a look in the mirror, sweetheart? You're so ugly that the mirror would crack into pieces. Say what you like about me, Gemma. At least I'm not crazy or delusional. <laughs> it's because of you that I'm so angry and just saying whatever I like. <laughs> I never want to see you ever again. Don't even think about trying to approach me or Seth ever again. You'll regret it. And you're just a delusional old hag that's desperate for another man's attention. Get lost, you piece of trash. In the end, Gemma was found by the security guards at the wedding venue. Apparently, she was kicked out and never had the chance to meet up with Seth. She was then seen following Seth to his company later on. She was reported to the police and got interviewed. I guess she finally snapped out of her delusions as she was told not to go anywhere near Seth or myself. She was given a restraining order and not allowed within a hundred feet of us. I reckon that she'll never break her restraining order and we'll never see her ever again. We can live in peace and continue without her around being a nuisance. It'll be good for both of us that we never meet her whilst walking down the streets.